Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to dye a synthetic wig. You didn't think that was possible, right? Well, I mean, if you wear synthetic wigs, you probably already know. But if you're new to wigs, then you might not realize that you can indeed dye synthetic wigs and not just human hair wigs. But you can't do it the traditional method with using human hair dye. You have to do it in a more creative way. And I found this method on a couple different blogs online, and I'm going to be following those instructions and I will link those below if you would like to use those for reference. I've done this a couple times before when I was still in high school to a couple of old Cody by Amora wigs and those came out super well and I really really liked them. But this year what I'm going to be doing is dyeing a very basic white costume wig to be Harley Quinn colors because I thought that was just an easier way to reuse an old wig I already owned rather than to purchase a Harley Quinn wig. So the method I'm going to be using is super simple, it's called the FW Ink method. There are other methods as well, like I know there's a Sharpie method you can do, but I find the FW Ink method very, very simple, and since I've already had experience doing it, I just like to stick with what I know. So what you're going to need is a couple of spray bottles. May I would suggest having one bottle per color that you're going to use, so in my case I have two different bottles, one for the pink and one for the blue. These I got at the dollar store, so if you have a dollar store near you, I definitely recommend going there. You'll also need some 70% rubbing alcohol, and you will need FW ink. I believe that you can use any acrylic ink like FW, but the blogs that I looked at recommended using FW ink, and that's what I've used in the past, so I figured I would just stick with what I already know works. Also, just to be careful when looking at the color options, because the pearlescent colors will not work. I made that mistake once and used this really pretty purple pearlescent color on a wig, but unfortunately when I washed out the dye just did not stick the same way that the non-pearlescent colors do. I also recommend having gloves, and I also recommend having a measuring cup, preferably glass because if you use a plastic one, the plastic might get dyed. And make sure that when you're working, you're wearing clothes you don't mind getting stained, and you're working over an area that's covered. I chose to do my process outside because I felt like that was just safer to not stain my house, but even then I still covered all of the surfaces of my deck with plastic garbage bags to make sure that the dye did not get on anything. And for the wig that you're going to dye, if you really want it to be a true color, then you're going to want to dye a wig that's really, really light blonde or preferably even white because if you try to dye a wig that is darker, the color will not show up as well. So the wig I'm dyeing is an old crappy costume wig that I already owned, so I figured I would be able to repurpose it by just using this wig as opposed to going out and purchasing a Harley Quinn wig. And I thought it would even look better than the Harley Quinn costume wigs, which are probably really, really crappy. This way I have at least a little bit more control over the quality of how it comes out. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is combine your rubbing alcohol with the ink. So first, measure out one cup of the 70% rubbing alcohol and pour that into your spray bottle. Next, take whatever color you're going to use. Each bottle of ink comes with a little eyedropper and take eight full droppers worth of ink and add that to the spray bottle. So after you have the eight full drops in the bottle, just close it up and shake it up so it's all mixed in nicely. And it's as simple as that. Now all you have to do is take the spray bottle and spray it directly into the hair. So again, since I'm doing Harley Quinn's wig, I separated the hair into ponytails beforehand, and I also am making sure to keep the hair very, very far apart from each other, because I don't want any of the pink to accidentally get into the blue side or vice versa, because then it'll end up being purple, so just make sure that anything you don't want to dye, you keep separate from each other. And then from here on out, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just spray it all throughout the hair, and I suggest really, really coating the hair as much as you can, more than you think you would need to, just to make sure that it really gets in there. And make sure you're moving the hair around as much as possible to make sure you're getting the undersides of strands to get every single strand there and you're not missing any, because you don't want to have any like blonde chunks left over afterwards. And this is where the gloves come in. I would definitely recommend kind of like rubbing it into the hair with the gloves as much as possible. If you get it on your hands, it's not the end of the world. It will wash out eventually, just like any ink will, but it's definitely not something you're gonna want on your skin, because it will take a couple days to wash out. Once the dye is all in the hair, let it sit for a couple hours. I would suggest maybe like eight hours. I actually left mine overnight. So after it's totally dry, you're gonna obviously want to wash out the dye. And again, since I'm using two separate distinct colors, I was very careful to wash out the two sides 
separately and keeping them apart as much as possible just to make sure that the dye doesn't leak and get onto the other side where I don't want it to be. So I just washed one pigtail at a time. And wash it out very, very thoroughly. Make sure you get all of the ink out initially. And then once you're done washing the ink out, I would suggest going at it with shampoo and conditioner. Of course, I'm sure it's recommended to use wig shampoo and conditioner, but I find that human hair shampoo and conditioner really, really helps to get the dye out even more. And it also helps to restore the texture because if you leave any of the dye in, it will kind of feel crispy. But the more you wash it, the more it'll kind of go back to its original state and it'll feel a lot better. So if you're done washing your wig and it still kind of feels like a weird crispy texture, then just keep washing it and keep using lots and lots of conditioner to help restore the original texture of the hair. Also, the more you wash it, the more it'll help get rid of the rubbing alcohol smell, which I'm sure you don't necessarily want to smell like, but not the worst thing to smell like, but you know, you definitely want to wash that out of the hair. And here's how the wig turned out. So this wig I actually wore last year for Halloween. I just never got around to editing this video. So I filmed all this footage of the wig dyeing process last year and then only edited it this year. But here is how the wig looks. I really, really loved how it came out. It was a really fun costume to wear on Halloween and it was just really fun to be a crazy <laughs> supervillain running around with a bat all Halloween. That was just a really fun experience. <laughs> And I really do love the way that this wig came out way better than any crappy costume wig I could have bought at the Halloween store or online. I think it just looks a lot more realistic than some other Harley Quinn wigs I've seen out there. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Obviously I was dyeing a Harley Quinn wig in this case, but you can take this same method and apply it with other colors and other dyeing styles to just dye any other wig that you have that you want to make look cooler. And it's also just a great way to recycle old wigs that you don't really care about anymore. You can kind of experiment with the dyeing process with old wigs that you might have just gotten rid of anyway. Again, I will link all the blogs below that I looked at for tips on how to dye wigs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome Halloween, and I will see you in the next video.